Out of Sight is a hidden object game where you move around 3D scenes to find objects which may only be visible at a certain camera angle or by opening a container or moving an object. You can click on the objects in the bar at the bottom of the screen to highlight the part of the scene the object is in. You can do this as often as you want with no apparent penalty. There's also a scoring system, and you earn points each time you find an object. Although the scenes are really quite beautiful, and although I typically really enjoy relaxed hidden object games, I found Out of Sight to be more frustrating than fun. There is a real disconnect between the lovely scenes and the clunky interface and controls. The game claims to have full gamepad support, but the gamepad controls are strange and not explained in-game, and I couldn't even control the cursor with any degree of accuracy, so I switched to the mouse. I had to turn the movement and camera speed up to maximum, and even then, they felt a little slow. The game also lacks a way to tilt the camera up and down, and it can be fiddly trying to get exactly the right camera angle to find an object, even if you know where it is. There are also some night scenes with a dark color palette, which caused me terrible eye strain trying to find the objects. In some scenes, there are too many objects on the bar to fit on screen, and I couldn't find a way to scroll through them, so some of them simply get cut off until you find enough items to shrink the bar. When you click on an item for a hint, it always centers the bubble on the item in the scene, so it's less of a hint and more of the game just telling you exactly where the object is. And as for the score, the system for scoring is too opaque to be useful. I have no idea what causes you to get more or fewer points for a particular object, and I pretty much just ignored that whole mechanic. The level select menu is also slow and awkward. Instead of a list of levels, the game shows you your currently selected level and arrows to go to the next or previous one. When you click one, it loads the entire next level before showing it to you, which takes at least a few seconds. I'm not even sure how many levels there are in total, because it didn't seem worth going through all of them and counting them up. Overall, Out of Sight is a very pretty game that some hidden object fans might enjoy, but it wasn't for me. Whether it's your cup of tea or not, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more indie game reviews. A heartfelt thank you to my patrons, whose support means the world to me. To get your name in the credits, as well as other rewards like private game servers, behind the scenes content, and more, visit patreon.com slash secretfoxfire. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.